has he done this time? Where's that congenital bungler with more teeth than brain cells? Daphne. The boy is a buffoon. A sea snake would have twice the intelligence. Five times the looks. I'm sorry, Angelo's not here. I sent him to the supermarket. You trust him with the shopping? <laughs> Knowing that numbskull, he'll probably come back with a stuffed owl, a bag of trampoline springs and a dippy duck sombrero. Sit down, Daphne. Have a coffee. If all this stress brings on one of my heads, I shall weep. That's what I'll do. Weep. <laughs> Have a spot of cake going. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Angelo? Pardon? <laughs> How to do, Freddy Fuchs Bentley? Looking for my aunt Daphne. She lives next door, don't you know? Don't suppose you've seen the old gal anywhere? <laughs> you look just like. Well, I, I guess you better come in. Jolly good share. <laughs> Pepe, they won't. Thank you, my boy. Thank you. Of course, I could really do without all this stress today of all days. Oh, why? What's happening today, then? Only the highlight of my social calendar. <laughs> Tonight is the badminton club annual dinner and dance. A chance to mingle with the cream of Cricklewood's upper crust. <laughs> oh, well. Happy mingling. Who <laughs> is? Aren't dead. Freddy! <laughs> 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 oh, it's more like Angelo than Angelo. <laughs> Katie, Michael, my nephew, Freddy Fawkes Bentley. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Naughty Auntie Wanty didn't tell Freddy Reddy what an actual corker she had living next to her. Yes. And she forgot to mention that Freddy Weddy would begin home with his teepy weepy in a baggy waggy if he tries it on again. Ooh. It's a dear foot. Couldn't you just hug him to death? No objections here. <laughs> hug away. Auntie, there's some grotty little taxi chappy waiting outside for his shackles. Hate to mention it. Uh, but the fact is, I'm a trifle strapped for care. How much do you need, Petal? Five pounds? Ten? <laughs> You're a brick, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Fred is my partner at the Big Do tonight. He's such a marvellous company. I'm sure it'll be an evening to remember. TTFN. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I lost that shopping list you gave me this morning. So I was forced to improvise. Stuffed owl, trampoline springs. I'm not forgetting the dippy duck sombrero. And £15.29p. That means, uh, oh, let's call it 16 <laughs> Oh. The spitting image. Like peas in a pot. Separated at birth or what? Have you any idea what they're talking about? <laughs> nah, it's nothing. Purse, purse. I know it's here somewhere. That's funny. Hey, let me look. That's weird. I remember paying the milkman then leaving it right there on the table. Huh. You don't think it's been stolen, do you? We've been sent here all morning. Who could possibly have stolen Freddy! 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 <laughs> We know it, Freddy. That's ridiculous. It can't be. Oh, think about it. The guy's a complete sleaze. You saw he didn't have any money, and he was standing right there. He had the motive and the opportunity. Yeah, well, thank you, Sherlock, but you just can't go around accusing people willy-nilly. Willy-nilly. Must be a friend of Freddy. Mikey, what time is it? Uh, 3.15. Oh, marvellous. I don't want to miss my favourite TV programme, Cooking with Pets Antique Garden Sweepstake. <laughs> Angelo, get a life. On a beautiful day like today, you should be out in the fresh air, not stuck inside watching some cheesy game show on daytime TV. Hmm. Hang on a minute. You only want me out the way so you can watch Bruce's pro-celebrity sumo blind date bonanza. <laughs> Cover the remote choose of the channel. All right, get it. Hand them up. Get them all. Go. Oh! Pip, pip. Hey, what? <laughs> wow! Mike was right. I must be watching too much TV. <laughs> I'm starting to see double. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Who was that? Who is? 
<laughs> Only me. <sighs> Flowers, in the hope our relationship will swiftly blossom. What? You just picked these from my front garden, didn't you? No need to thank me. <gasps> There's no trouble at all. Did I hear tea being mentioned? Oh, wait! Look, I'm sorry, Freddy, but I was just about to go out. Was there something you were wanting? Oh, I should jolly well coke him. <laughs> Tonight, I have to take Aunt Hare to this dreadful dinner and dance thing. And I was wondering if, after I've dumped the old trite, whether you and I could uh, slip off somewhere a bit quiet and uh, get to know each other a little better. Ah, that is a beautiful thought, Freddy. And there's only three little things stop me from saying yes. Number one, you have the personality of a big potato. Number two, you're less fanciful than a dose of Lassa fever. And number three, if you don't move your hand in the next nanosecond, you're going to end up with a fistful of fingers you'll be able to use as boot marks. Oh. I say, do I take that as a no? Take that as, the day I go on a date with you will be the day we hold the Winter Olympics in hell. <laughs> Goodbye, Freddy. Oh, uh, but I Guys, I'm just popping out. Behave yourselves. You got it. Mikey, what time is it? <gasps> Again with the what time is it? I don't want to miss cuddly kittens on crutches, horsey hospital bets, win prizes. <laughs> I don't know. My watch is outside on the hall table. Help yourself. Oh. <laughs> Where? There! I don't see it. Angela, I'm trying to... <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> you couldn't find a cow pat at a cattle show, could you? And you know why? Because you never look properly, that's why. Well, where is it then, clever Trevor? <laughs> what's, um, what's just a... Oh, well, should I know where it's gone? I loved it there, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Just before that incredibly good-looking bloke came to the front door. <laughs> what bloke? You know, moustache, pip pip, he what? Freddy Fox Bentley? Terribly handsome chap, I thought. That's it. Of course, first Katie's purse, then my watch. Oh, I just knew the guy was a thief. I knew it. But he had such an honest face. And such itchy fingers. Now, wait a minute, Mike. You don't have any proof that he took anything. Every time something goes missing, that spineless sponger's at the scene of the crime. If only we could catch him in the act. Hmm. Well, there. I may be able to help you. I have a little idea, and it all goes according to plan. You'll be up to your eyeballs in proof. <laughs> now, all we have to do is... See what the little sneak thief was after this time. Katie's diamond earrings. Uh, now we've got him. No way he's gonna wriggle out of this one. What in the name of sanity's going on here? <laughs> you wanted proof? Well, we've got it by the truckload. Yeah. Yeah. What are you blathering about? <laughs> oh my! Ah, uh, save your sympathy. The guy's a 24 karat crook. <laughs> what? Recognize these? My earrings. <laughs> exactly. I rest my case. Mm -hmm. My earrings that Daphne phoned and asked if she could borrow. And <laughs> since I was going to be washing my hair, I said I'd leave in the kitchen table and she'd send Freddie over to collect. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, okay, so he didn't steal your earrings, but what about your purse, eh? What about that? Yes. Huh? <laughs> Michael, I found my purse this afternoon. It was under the tea cozy. Oh. oh. Um. <laughs> But b b my watch, yes. no doubt about that. I definitely <laughs> yes. left it out there on the hall table. And I picked it up and took it out with me. <laughs> you, you took it? But why? You told me the strap was busted. So when I went into town, I popped into the menders and had it repaired. <sighs> <laughs> I said he had an honest face. Well, Mikey boy, looks like your truckload of proof just went over the cliff in flames. <laughs> I was so sure he was ripping us off. Well, you need to be more sure before you go accusing people freddie may be a sleaze and a cheapskate but that doesn't necessarily make him a thief <gasps> oh. Daphne, oh. freddie's supposed to be taking us to his flaming dinner dance oh, oh mommy daddy what we're we gonna do oh, uh, come on 
Wakey, wakey, Freddy. Wake up, come on, wake up. <laughs> Angelo, glass of water. Oh. I'll keep her talking. You get him back on his feet. How? You're the genius who knocked him unconscious. You think of something. I can't think what's happened to Freddy. I sent him round for the earrings and he never came back. The earrings, yes. There you go, Daphne. Have a lovely, lovely <laughs> evening. I can't wait to hear all about it. Bye now. I can't go without Freddy. Now, where is he? No! He's out cold. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's out, bro, cold, <laughs> isn't it? Come into the sitting room, you'll catch your day, Katie. <laughs> that is a gorgeous frock. It's the Ramondo Bambini, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, wakey, wakey, Freddy, ready. It's party time. Oh, this is useless. He's got a bump on his dome the size of air's rock. Why would you have to clown him so hard? Mike, I had no idea trampoline springs were so heavy. <laughs> he won't wake up. He's out for the count. <laughs> Smelling salts. Something to stick under his nose to make him come around. Ha! I have just the thing, Mikey. A fiver reviver. <laughs> come on, Freddy. Breathe in. <laughs> Smell the lovely lolly. Isn't that a gorgeous wee thing? Look at the plumage on that. Fascinating. <laughs> but I'm more interested in what's become of my nephew. Absolutely. You wait here. I'll go and see if he's still knocked out. <laughs> locked out? Maybe he's locked out. Here. Ha <laughs> ha. There's more to this than meets the eye. <laughs> Any sign of life from Rip Van Winkle? He won't be conscious for hours. <gasps> Look at him, dead to the world. And that's how we're going to be when Daphne discovers we've nobbled our precious nephew. Oh. Can't we just tell her he's he's ill? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, brilliant, Michael. A perfectly healthy man steps out of his house and by the time he reaches next door neighbor's kitchen, he's been struck down by a mysterious dose of sleeping sickness. <laughs> I'm pretty confident she'll swallow that. Okay, okay. Anyone got any better ideas? Fellow conspirators, prepare to have your gob smacked. <laughs> I have the perfect solution. Okay, we'll go with the sleeping sickness. No, 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 wait. Hear me out. Now, we all agree that this Freddy is in no fit state to go to the ball, right? But who's to say his place can't be taken by another Freddy? Another Freddy? <laughs> pip, pip. <laughs> Come on. I mean, you both said I look like him, didn't you? Hey, hey. Look, I get into his clubber, go to the do with Daffers, she'll never <laughs> notice the difference. That must rate is the most stupid plan since Ulysses proposed building the wooden chicken of Troy. <laughs> <gasps> We don't have a choice. Oh. Quick, get his clothes off uh. and hurry. <laughs> this is utterly absurd. I demand to know what's happened to Freddy. He's, um, he's in the loo. What? Yeah, cut short. Needed to visit the little boy's room. But he's been gone ages. Oh, you know Freddy. Why spend a penny when you can spend a pound? Now sit down, Daphne, and he'll be back before you can see Jimmy Riddle. <laughs> Come on, come on, quick! <laughs> Mike, I'm beginning to wonder whether this is really my style. Oh, maybe a surgical collar and a matching set of bandages would be more to Sir's taste. Because that's what you're going to be wearing if the demon Daphne finds out about this. On reflection, I'm in the suit. <laughs> and this is Dippy Duck. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> Anytime you fancy borrowing it, Daph, it's yours here. Try it on if you like. <laughs> Why not? Well, will I do? There's something missing. Mustache! Oh, yes, right. Mustache. <laughs> no, 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 no. You need a mustache. Mike, I really don't think I've got the time to grow one right now. Oh, give me that. <laughs> Will I pull it off? Not if we use very strong glue. No. I want to see Freddy and I want to see him now. And if I don't get to see him. <laughs> Aunt Daph! <laughs> he what? Gracious sakes, Frederick! You must have a bladder the size of a beach ball. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, you two funky funsters! You got to get moving before you get grooving! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, kids! Have a fabulous evening! We will! <laughs> Bye now! <laughs> Howl's about a little goodbye kissy wissy for Freddy Weddy. <laughs> Angela, you muck this up and you are dead meat. Angela? Who's Angela? <laughs> I'm Freddy <laughs> Fork Bender. <laughs> Pippity pip. Hold me back. I'm going to punch his legs out. So, what now? 
No. No, Michael. We wait. Come on, buddy. More black coffee. Get it down your gizzard. <laughs> 19 cups and he still won't wake up. Almost midnight. Where are they? What's happened? What chaos and mayhem is that bonehead unleashed down at the badminton club? Hey, relax. You're getting all tense. Tense? Me? Tense? I think I'm tense. Ah! It's them! They're back! Cool. Have to play cool. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, yeah. It's all been a horrible disaster. I just know it. Angelo's disgraced himself. Daphne's going to burst in here, froth at the face and bite my head off. Goodbye, Michael. It's been nice knowing you. Wonderful, what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. Just popped in to return the... Between you and me, Katie, the evening would have been as dull as Ditchwater if it wasn't for young Freddy here. Oh. He was magnificent. He turned a stuffy old soiree into a sparkling success. Oh. He did? I don't believe it. I just didn't realise how amusing my nephew could be. Singing, tap dancing. Oh. During dinner, he had us all in stitches, juggling the bread rolls. Oh. <laughs> and you should have seen me toss the salad. <laughs> Joker! Everybody loves him. Oh. Thanks to this gorgeous boy, the badminton club unanimously voted me in as the new social secretary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they've asked me to attend every do that Auntie organised. <laughs> 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 oh, lovely. Uh, wouldn't you like to visit the bathroom now, Freddy? Eh? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get caught short on the way home now, do we? But my God, I... Don't be long, Freddy. <laughs> I thought your bathroom was upstairs. Hey, he's taking him the scenic route. Don't just stand there. Get out of those clothes. We have to switch you for the real Freddy. What a shame. I was really getting into that part. Get out of those clothes and help me sort out Sleeping Beauty here. Oh, oh I say, my head. Oh, what the pip's going on? Oh. You see, it has a double crevice tool for picking up twice as much dust. <laughs> it's the but... very latest fluffbuster from Mars. <laughs> ah, at last. Uh, where am I? What's going on? There, there, Potter. It's been a long evening. Oh. Is Freddy what are you worried for, baby? Oh, dear. One feels as if one's drunk ten gallons of black coffee. <laughs> one needs the lather. <laughs> oh, well, good night. Uh, good night. Good night. <laughs> Mrs. Forkbender. <laughs> Mr. Meathead. Why can't you stop being such a klutz and be more like my nephew? I'll tell you why. Because you don't have the charm. You don't have the sense. And you certainly don't have the personality. Mm. Ah, but there's one thing I do have. The moustache! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stick this on me, Mikey? Nice to have a few alien types around the house, eh? Certainly liven up the conversation round here. Oh, I see. Our earthlings not good enough for you now, is that it? I do for crying out loud, they're destroying the house! Tell them to go! Well, that's not very hospitable, is it? I mean, we did invite them here. I am Barnett. What do you want? <laughs> want to kill. Kill? What do you mean, kill? Destroy! Destroy? Exterminate! Kill, destroy and exterminate who? Meets Buddy. Result, our next cartoon.